Coco Chanel herself did not care at all if she was being replicated. In fact, she was actually very flattered. She said, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a huge welcome. And to my old subscribers, absolutely love to have you back. You're the best. As you guys know on this channel, Sustainability Matters, and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So as usual, I'm going to leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So, Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. The name has been on the tongues of many content creators here on YouTube, on TikTok, everywhere. And of course, it has to do with either issues of quality or replication. Two very heavy topics that one cannot always address in one video. But today, I'm going to address two parts of this issue. Just, just two. One with respect to replication, the other with respect to quality. So, on the issue of quality, Chanel is actually one of the very top tier pinnacle brands in terms of bags and ready to wear. Oh my God, I believe everybody loves it, even me at one point fell for it. I got the brooch. I didn't get a bag. I didn't get any clothes. Oh, I got shoes. Yeah. Because I was of the impression that Chanel ready to wear accessories as well. They are up there when it comes to quality. And it's because of oh my my beloved OG subscribers. So I got these. And I'm not saying I do not love them. I do. When it comes to quality issues of this particular shoe. I think the fact that this has mesh, that's a bit of an issue for me, but this shoe on is absolutely stunning. I think when it comes to Chanel items and quality, do not have the high expectations that some YouTubers rave about. It's not that deep. Like any brand, as you would have become aware of these days, people are now talking. <laughs> the secrets are out. The qualities are not as great <laughs> as they were bragged, raved to be. Chanel has been on a pedestal for ages and nobody ever wanted to venture out, be courageous enough, be brave enough to even mention the fact that there are quality issues with the Chanel brand. It has been going on for a long time. It's not all that. And yeah, you could 
come at me as much as you want. It's like any other brand. It has had quality issues for a very long time. And also with this shoe in particular, because I could only speak to what I have. These, yeah, they're not the best at all. They're not. They're okay. They're just like any other ordinary brands in terms of quality that I've seen out there. And, and yes, they are very much authentic. I am happy to see that so many YouTubers are now being courageous enough to actually say it as it is without fear of not being sponsored. The quality for Chanel items, it has been an issue for a very, very long time. And many like me bought into the hype. And it's expensive. It's not worth it when you have such grave, yes, grave quality issues. And of course, it's not to say that they are not some good pieces. But if you look at some of the items on sale on many of the websites, whether it's second hand or first hand, some of Chanel tweed blazers are actually made out of a mix of natural and synthetic. That was shocking for me. And some might say, yeah, we need the polyester so that we don't have to iron too much. And that in itself helps with resources. But when you make items of mixed materials, it's actually very difficult to recycle, to separate the synthetic from the natural so that you could reuse it. It's so important that you don't just rave and say, oh my God, it's such good quality. It's very heavy. But why is it heavy? Is it heavy because it's made of all natural material? Could you please say that? Could you please, please, please say that? Make that very clear so that people like me don't just go shop blindly thinking, oh my God, yes, I'm into quality materials. I'm into like, generational pieces so that my great granddaughter could get it please please there are people like me that do not necessarily like the fact that if i'm buying something new whether it's second hand or not i would really love to know that if i see chanel i am not automatically going to think a hundred percent natural fibers that's one of the issues i've had in the past when it comes to the shoes they're not they're not always very comfortable and comfort is key for me it's like any other brand guys these are items made by a man plus machine not something that is so resistant to quality issues no it's not we put these brands on such pedestal that we think that oh my god if you get a chanel piece you could do no wrong it's a big lie it's a big lie and it's it's time enough that the og youtubers it's time that they come clean on this issue when it comes to replication, Chanel is one of the most replicated brands, yeah, out there. In fact, recently I was looking at a video where this person was trying to differentiate the fake from the real. Even the authenticators are confused. You may even have fake Chanel's in your collection. The thing is, I know it would piss you off because you paid so much for it. 
But here is my take on the super fakes. If the authenticators are confused, if I have to take a microscope to spot the differences, if you yourself could barely differentiate the fake from the authentic, <laughs> really? If someone flagged to me that it's a super fake, just like the real Chanel, providing I want a Chanel bag. Knowing it's a super fake, you could barely differentiate it from the real one and the authenticators are confused. Hmm. Hmm. You tell me this is $400, then you tell me this is $4,000. <laughs> okay, I'll let you interpret that. Secondly, some people get really offended and they are so upset that they spent so much money on the real one and here are the fake ones hmm do you think they're looking a bit foolish because they get the real one for so much money and the super fakes are there <laughs> super faking replicating doing a good job of replicating for less money and so many other people are flaunting the super fakes and feel good about themselves because they have paid less and they, they look as high-end and elegant just like you guys the super fakes are kicking butts sorry I didn't mean to shout but yeah it's not something that you should get too upset about because you know why coco chanel herself did not care at all if she was being replicated in fact this is what she said let me read it for you she was actually very flattered by the fact that she was being plagiarized. She said, being plagiarized is the greatest compliment one can receive. And here you are getting deeply offended that oh the super fakes they are stealing intellectual property the brand is losing huh really chanel is losing chanel is a powerhouse it's a brand that would survive for uh, 50 more years to come have you seen the price increases and people are still buying it. Yeah. She did not care. And of course, there are those on the other camp. If it's not the stealing of intellectual property that robs the brand from its original creation, how dare other brands do it? Other brands are doing it. So many other brands such as yeah rebecca minkoff does this not look like the boy bag you have all the other brands out there that are doing it michael kors tory burst they're all replicating the chanel brand the chanel quilted look yes yes i know you're gonna say those are dupes oh yeah really we are going to play spot the differences soon in our next video. If it amounts to seven, then 
I stand corrected and we could call it a dupe. But for now, on the issue of replication and stealing intellectual property, they have all done it. It's an ongoing issue. It's all around. Every single brand does it. I've said that in a video before. Let me say it again. Every single brand steals from each other. They don't want to call it stealing because they get the intellectual property rights to slap their names on a bag that looks like Chanel at a lower price. Are they not also taken away from Chanel, taking away its profit by creating a dupe? Are they not? If I could get the look for less by buying a dupe from those that got the right to do so, isn't that also taking away money from the original person that came up with the design? And by the way, how do you know that Chanel really came up with the original design? You need to really, really, truly look into the history of these brands. When you start talking about history, Chanel did not have a great history. Chanel treated her workers like crap. Chanel was also a spy. Is that a brand that you're proud to be associated with? She was arrested for being a spy. Huh, yeah, she, she may have been... Um, Somebody in power may have exonerated her, but there are very strong evidence to suggest that she was. And Chanel, yeah, she had an attitude about her. In fact, I recall watching a documentary where she really came at Dior because Dior was competing with her at a time when she was also creating her brand. And maybe pettiness, maybe jealousy. She, she was very anti-Semitic. Essentially, she's asking, why are you supporting a brand created by a man, very sexist, um, with very little knowledge of really when Chanel started her brand, in fact, her clothing was very cheap. They were cheap, in essence, to compete against the brand that was definitely in power at that time. She made her garments cheap to compete against that brand, essentially, and eventually succeeding in doing so. Chanel... I love a woman on top, but it depends on how you get there. So when you talk about you being, oh, it's not just about replication, but they're stealing. And I don't just love Chanel because of what she makes or she has made in the past. It's because of the history of the brand. Oh, I love the history of the brand. Do your homework. Many of the brands that so many YouTubers are so proud to be associated with, their histories are not very pretty. Not at all. In a nutshell, this is a time in the economy for people to come straight, to be honest, and not lie to you. Stop hyping up Chanel or Hermes. Guys, do your homework before you start to blindly support brands and defending brands that do not even have your interests at heart. You think you're special? No. <laughs> In this system, it's every man for himself. If you like the brand, just like the brand, just buy your thing. I like the brooch, 
and I buy it. But I'm not going to spend an exorbitant amount of cash that I don't have on a jumbo or a mini at seven, eight, and ten thousand dollars. Are you out of your minds? Yeah. So I hope that I have awakened you and I hope that you would stay woke and I do this because I love you. It's with love. Please do not be offended. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head.